Hello and welcome to another Microbit tutorial brought to you by the Tamworth Library Innovation Studio. As always, we don't need the physical Microbit, we'll be using the virtual Microbit on the MakeCode website. Um, this time we're going to be doing music, so we're going to be making music with our Microbit. Um, let's get stuck in. Okay, so a Microbit can use a speaker uh, by sending the basic electric signals to the to the speaker to play basic notes it doesn't sound like regular songs or anything it's just basic tones like the uh, old mobile phones um, but basically how, uh, without getting into too much detail about how speakers work uh, using magnets and electricity um, it's able to uh, by changing the the, the, the the frequency the the amount of uh, time between switching the magnets from positive to negative can cause vibrations on the speaker or the headphone and that depending on the, the the speed of that vibration can change the tone so uh, with the micro bit if you had a set of headphones you could wire it up like this image here um, but we're just going to be using the device that you're doing this on through the virtual environment it will just play it through those speakers so what we're going to do is we're going to start out and we just do some basic output to a speaker using the micro bit we might use some of the sensors on the micro bit um, to emit different sounds different tones and then after that we're going to create a tune using the micro bit so we're going to i mean we'll do a little song and we'll, we'll we'll play a few notes and and see how we go and then of course um, i'll give you guys a challenge and we'll talk about that a bit later on Okay, let's do some code. Okay, let's head over to the Make Code Microbit website. Of course, the link is in the, dis the description. And as always, we'll create a new project and we'll, we'll pause the video here um, so you guys just have a new project open and ready to go. Okay, so I thought since we're making music, we're going to go to the uh, basic tab and we're going to show an icon. And let's show the music note. All right, now we're, we'll be working with tones from the, the little music tab here. And just to begin with, we'll just play a a note and make sure all our speakers and everything is working. So if I click and drag this out here. Uh, and that should play the middle C. I'm just going to mute that. There's a little mute button here. Uh, and that's very useful. So you can mute it. Um, so it doesn't disturb you too much when you're trying to do this. So play tone middle C for one beat but we can link this this tone uh, to, to something a bit different so if we just get rid of that one for now and let's just play uh, a ringtone and this time we're going to link it to one of our sensors so if we go into the input tab there should be a number of things here let's do acceleration on the x-axis which means we should when we tilt the micro bit it should make different sounds we'll have to unmute it again if we want to hear what it's doing okay when it's on zero it's not outputting anything but let's change it and we can okay that's great we'll mute that <laughs> So that's on the accelerometer. You can see when you change the value of the tone up or down, it changes the vibration, which changes the, the pitch or the it makes the note higher or lower. So if we go and let's try something else. Well, temperature won't be much good. Uh, well, let's give it a go. Let's put the temperature in. Ooh, it's quite low we can increase the temperature or decrease the temperature there we go 
I'll mute that again. So that's um, the basics. That's just uh, getting something out of a speaker. Let's let's head back and, and have a look and we'll, we'll do something a bit more complicated for the next one. All right, so if we want to play a song on the mic route, we need to know about two things. We need to know about the tones and the beats. So a tone is the actual note that you're going to play. And you can see here when you, well, you see in a minute when you click on the uh, tone, you, a little piano will come up. And you can, if you know the piano, you can click on the, the key. Um, or you can just select uh, the, the, the note. Also, you could put in a number. So middle C, if you, if you click the note, comes up with a number 262. And that's the frequency. That's, that's how fast it vibrates to make that particular note. Um, so 294 would be D. Anyway, you can see that when you, when you go through. And that's the higher the note, the, the higher the number. Okay, so um, beat uh, the length. Of, the, of how long that note will play for one beat, half a beat, two beats. Um, and the other little thing we're going to use uh, is what's called a rest, which is a, a gap. If you say at the end of a end of the tune, you might want a little bit of a gap. Um, so let's put this together and um, see if we can make a tune. Okay, so back to our code. Um, now we're going to get rid of uh, this um, tone that we had playing there. And what we want to do is get the uh, play tone uh, little piece here. And we want to, the, the tune we're going to play is Mary Had a Little Lamb. And I'll show you, when you click on the, the note, um, it should come up. Now, I've got mine on mute. And if I unmute it, you can see it's playing. There's a little stop button there. So that'll stop the micro bit from automatically um, going as soon as we've um, done, changed the code. <clears throat> so if I, um, I'll show you the tune that we're going to play. It's um, very simple. Okay, so that's the start of Mary Had a Little Lamb. And you notice when I press those, the, the little number of the tone changes and the higher you get. Um, so let's put it together. I'll put the, um, the notes that I'm putting in here and the, the amount of beats uh, on the screen so you can see them. Okay, so uh, this third E that we've got here We've got to make sure we change that to two beats because that's a long note. And also this third D here is a long note. Okay, so We'll pause the video there, see if you can get all those uh, notes together. I'll leave it on the screen for a bit. Okay, so when you're ready to play it through the speaker, oh, that's enough of that. Um, so you can see uh, we've made a tune. Uh, you can continue that tune. That tune uh, keeps going for a bit more. Um, but I think you get the idea. Uh, make sure you save your work. We'll call this music or Mary. We'll call it Mary for Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, and let's head back. Okay, so the challenge today is to look up a simple tune. We did Mary Had a Little Lamb. And you could choose to finish it or you could look up another one. Make sure you don't choose a complicated song. Keep it nice and simple. Um, something like 
Twinkle Little Star or Old MacDonald. Um, but you can, you can choose. And if you look up the notes um, that, you, that it uses, then you can put it in and, and hopefully make yourself a tune. All right, guys, have fun.